This is the LED Eclipse. It consists of 10 LEDs and 10 touch sensors around the perimeter with a MIDI output at the front. In this video, I'm going to go over how it basically works and some of the applications. Right now, I have a program uploaded so that when you touch the sensor, the LEDs light up and it produces a MIDI output. If you'd like a full description of the device, check out the Instructable, there's a link below. Now I'm going to switch to the schematic and go over the electrical layout. Here's an electrical schematic of the LED Eclipse. The addressable LED strip and MIDI signal of the device are controlled with an Arduino Uno. Pin A0 is connected to the white cable of the LED strip, that's the data pin, and pin A1 of the Arduino is connected to the green wire, which is the clock pin of the LED strip. The MIDI signal is sent from the transmit pin, which is pin number one. To interact with the device, the user presses down on capacitive touch sensors, which consists of a copper sheet and a, with a piece of MDF over top of it. A pulse is sent to the sensor from pin two of the Arduino, and the delay is detected by a different receive pin for each sensor, and that's pin three through 12. For a review on capacitive touch sensing, check out the link below. Depending on the input from the touch sensors, the LEDs and MIDI signal can be programmed to produce different light patterns and sounds. I also programmed the device to play Simon. The chassis of the device was designed using Autodesk Fusion. Shown here is a 3D model of the enclosure. You can see where the plexiglass is mounted at the top that's used to diffuse the light from the LEDs and the capacitive touch sensors are mounted here around the outside. Shown right here is the front panel where there's the switch, the power jack, the USB jack, and the MIDI jack. After designing the entire enclosure, I sliced it into 30 different layers, and I made this little animation for showing how these layers are all connected using uh, Fusion. You can see where the LEDs are mounted right there at that layer, and this layer that slides out here is where all the electronics are, are stationed. And these are the 30 different layers all stacked next to each other. So after designing everything, a sheet of MDF was cut for each layer using a laser cutter. Then each layer was stacked on top of each other and glued. Now I'm going to open up the bottom of the Eclipse and show the inside. The bottom panel can be removed by unscrewing eight bolts around the bottom of the device. Inside you can see the copper sheets that have been cut out for the capacitive touch sensors. They're adhered to the MDF underneath and then attached, soldered to them are two resistors that are then connected to the Arduino with wire wrap wire. You can also see the LED strip that, that generates the light in the device. At the front panel I have the power jack the switch, the MIDI jack, and the USB jack. The power supply is 9 volts for the Arduino, so that needs to be stepped down to 5 volts for the, RD, R, uh, the LED strip, and that's done with the buck converter over there. Alright, now I'm going to show this guy in action with a few of the programs that I wrote for it. Thank you. 
<laughs> I don't remember. Thank you.